Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here. And today we'll be dealing with the last conversion. Okay. Uh, what did remain? The hexadecimal remained. Okay. So we convert. Converting from hexadecimal number system to Converting from the hexadecimal number system, all right? That's the last conversion. So uh, the first uh, that we convert is, let's say, the decimal. Decimal two. From hexadecimal to decimal, all right? So I've already told you the basic method in the last video. Okay. Let's say we have we have a a. Uh, a hexadecimal number which is represented by h uh, h not h1 h2 h3 up to hn then we have a decimal point then we have h negative 1 h negative 2 h negative 3 up to h negative n so what do you do you take this uh, this decimal as your reference point this decimal point is your reference point all right to the right of it we have the fraction part and to the left of it we have the integer part and we know that the hexadecimal is a weighted system the decimal is a weighted system so you do what you multiply these by its weights all right h naught is the first value so h naught is multiplied by what 16 to the power zero okay then h1 is multiplied with 16 to the power 1 h2 is into 16 to the power 2 and so on we have f to hn multiplied by 16 to the power n all right and similarly to the right of the decimal point this is a negative weight so we have h negative 1 multiplied 16 to the power negative 1 h negative 2 is multiplied with 16 to the power negative 2 and so on comes till hn into 16 to the power negative n and you do what you know you add them up okay you add them up all right now what do i mean by this so we, we go through an example all right let's see the first example given is a word bad let's say we have an example bad in base 16 and we need it in base 10 so we don't have a decimal point we don't have the negative weights okay so what do we do uh, so d is the first then so and d is what d is uh, b is 11 c is 12 uh, uh, d is 13 13 is multiplied with 16 to the power 0 uh, then we have a it is 10 is multiplied to 16 to the power 1 and then we have b which is 11 and this is multiplied to 16 to the power 2 and these are all added three of them are added so 16 to the power 0 is 0 uh, is a 1 and 13 to 1 would be 13 then this is 16 and 10 to 16 is 160 and 16 16s are what I've written it over here for myself so 16 16 are 256 and then 256 into 11 is 2816 2816 and when you add them up you get the decimal equivalent which is what which is uh 2989 okay 2989 all right let's have another example it's given a bff 0.c this is in 16 we need it in base 10 so what they do the decimal is the reference to the right you have what a negative weight so c uh, and c is 12 c is 12 so 12 is multiplied to 16 to the power negative 1 okay f is 15 and 15 into 16 power 0 again f so 15 into 16 power 1 and then we have a b which is 11 into 16 to the power 2 and you add all of them 
add all of them. All right. Now what happens? So 16 to the power 0 first. Let's or we start from one side. So 16, 16s are 256. We solved over here, and 256 into 11 is 2816. Okay, this is already written 2816. Then we have uh, 15 multiplied with 16, so we have uh, 240. We have a 240 from this, and then 15 into 16 zeros are 1. So 16 power 0 is a 1, so 15 to 1 is a 15, and then we have a 12 divided by 16. Now 12 divided by 16 is 0.75. This, uh, this is 0.75, and when you add all of them together, you get a 301.75. 301.75. This is the decimal equivalent, all right? of this base 16 number. Now, the next thing we have is the binary numbers. We convert from hexadecimal to binary. Now, in the hexadecimal, we know that we have uh, the base is 16, R is 16, and we then we know that we have numbers from 0 to 15 over here. Now, each of these numbers, as we saw in the octal number system, can be represented as, a, as an equivalent 3-bit number. In the hexadecimal system, we have 2 to the power 4 is 8, which means that each number in, of this hexadecimal system can be written as an equivalent 4-bit number. All right? So let me write it down. Each number can be represented by an equivalent 4-bit number. All right? And let me write them down. So what are the numbers? This is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then we have 10 is A. Okay. 11 is B, C, D, E, and F. Now we have four bits. Okay. So I've told you the basic method. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Then 2, change 2, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Then change 4, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. And then finally change 8, 0, 0, 0, 0. 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So these are the 4-bit equivalents. And how are these? So we've seen them from the octal also. And you can show them by, by, by the powers of 2. Powers of 2. So these are the power of 2 is 1. Then 2 to the power 2 at 1 is 2. Then we have 4. Then 8. So these are till 8, OK? So when all of them are 1, we have an 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1, which is a 15. So the highest number that can be represented by 4 bits, highest, is what? It's 15, okay? We've seen the last that a 3-bit highest is what? 3-bit highest is 7 and a 4-bit a, 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 a highest is 15. Similarly, a 2-bit highest is 3, all right? And we'll see further in upcoming lectures, all right? So this is how, look at this, the, the first one is a 1, so this is a 1. Then 2 we have, so the second bit is high. Then we have 2 plus 1, 3, so 2 are high. And you know this, how these are high. So now we convert a, a hexadecimal number. We take a hexadecimal number, we take an example. So we have, uh, let's say, we have 2598A. 259A. 259A. This is in this base 16, and we need it in binary. So what do you do? You, you write the digits directly, okay? You write its equivalent directly. 
So the equivalent for 2 is 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. For 5, it is 0, 1, 0, 1. For 9, it is 1, 0, 0, 1. And for 10, it is 1, 0, 1, 0. So this, this is simple, right? All you need to do is remember this thing. If we have another example, let's say we have face, a word face. F A C E. This isn't phase, this is F A C E basically. And converting it. So now, how do you convert? Uh, so F is all of them are high. 1, 1, 1, 1. A is 1, 0, 1, 0. Uh, C is 1, 1, 0, 0. And E is 1, 1, 1, 0. That's conversion, okay? If I give you a homework, can you solve it? Can you solve F E 1 6 2 C? This is in hack, uh, this base 16, and you convert it into a base 2. And you let me know in the comment section, all right? Okay, the next conversion that we have is from hexadecimal to octal. All right? I didn't remove this because we'll be needing it. And I've told you in the last lecture, if you haven't seen it, so I'll be repeating it again, that we can convert from binary, uh, wait, we can convert from binary to octal, and we can convert from binary to hexadecimals. All right, we can convert in this way. And similarly, we can convert from hexadecimal to binary and from octal to binary. But if we have to convert from, uh, from hexadecimal to octal, so that is not possible. And you have to convert from octal to hexadecimal, that is also not possible. So first, you have to go through the binary. Now, in this case, we need the hexadecimal conversion to the octal. So we can't go directly. We come through the binary, okay? So first, convert first to binary and we've just seen the binary conversion okay and then from binary you convert into octal which we've also seen in the previous lectures so let's have an example right the example is let's say we have c a d for example c a d in base 16 and we need it in base 8 so first you convert it into a base 2. So how do you convert it to base 2? We've seen directly. C is uh, 1100, 1100. A is 1010. And then D is 1101. This is the base 2 equivalent. Then you make a group of, of 3s. All right, why 3s? Because 2 to the power 3 is 8. So these three groups. If you are converting into, uh, in the, so let it go. We've already discussed that, okay? So now you make a group of threes from the right, okay? From the right. So this is uh, the first group. This is the second group. This is the third group. And this is the fourth group. Now, now what is this equivalent? One, zero, one. Uh, one, zero, one is five, okay? One, zero, one is five. And uh, then this, one, uh, again, one, zero, one. So again, five. 0, 1, 0 is 2, and 1, 1, 0 is 6. So 6, 2, 5, 5. 6, 2, 5, 5. Yes, this is the base 8 convert, uh, the base 8 equivalent of this base 16 CAD. Okay, if we have, uh, let's say, another example, we have a word cafe. Cafe. Let me repeat, this cafe is not our interest. Our interest is the C, A, F, and E. Okay, so this is a base 16 number and we need its equivalent 8. So we convert it into binary first. So C is uh, 1100, 1100, then A is 1010, F is 1111, and E is 1110. Now again, you make a group of threes okay so so this is the first group one one zero then we have one 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 then zero one one then one zero one then one and when we're falling short over here so we have a zero zero 
If you are going after the decimal, we can add another zero, zero, okay? Now this, one, one, zero, one, one, zero is what? This is six. One, one, zero is six, okay? One, 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 I told you is the highest number, this is seven. Zero, one, one, this is five. This is three, sorry, this is three. Zero, one, one is three. One, zero, one, this is five. And one zero zero, this is uh, four. One zero zero is four, and this zero zero one is one. So the decimal equivalent of cafe is one four five three six seven. All right. Sorry, not the decimal equivalent, the base eight equivalent. Okay. Uh, so if I give you a question, let's say we have a three f six two c. This is n base 16, you convert it to a base 2. Alright, convert it into a base 2 and you let me know in the comment section. And that's all about the conversions. That was the last conversion, okay? We have seen the binary conversions and we've seen octal, the decimal and the last hexadecimal, okay? So that's all for today from my side. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.